There's the picking bin that I contributed my buckets of grapes to, ready to be turned into into wine, I guess. Yeah, we'll start. We'll we'll get there. We'll, we'll get, get there. there. Yeah. Now Joe, the winemaker, is going to get on this forklift, bring it over it to over our so to our destemmer crusher. So it gets dumped up into this thing. It'll get dumped into here. Right. Then it'll get destemmed here. Right. It'll pass by crusher rollers. Okay. which will be spread apart not to crush them very much. And then uh, it'll be pumped through the must pump into the bin inside, and that's what it'll ferment in. Wow, how long does that whole process take from dumping to squishing to juicing? Well, one bin goes through in five minutes at the, oh. even less. It's gonna be exciting. Yeah, yeah it's All right, we, we probably have to stand back a little bit. No, we're gonna get you to hold oh, the hose. Oh, I get to hold the hose, here. excellent. Steady stream of mushed up grapes coming out of the hose here. I feel a little bit of pressure right now. Like, you know, I don't want to ruin their wine. So the, uh, the juices stopped flowing. You crushed all those grapes. What happens right, right. Well, um, now that the, we've homogenized all that we've picked, the first thing we like to do usually is check the sugar. Right. So we use a little tool called a refractometer. We stick it in here and we get it a little wet. Push it down to get the bubbles out. And a peak. So we're getting just just a hair under 23 bricks on it. So what does that mean? Oh yeah, it's pretty close to 23. Ah, that's cool. So what does that mean? Is that good? Yeah, that's okay. That's okay. For a nice range for the reds would probably be 23 to 25 as far as the sugar. We're gonna move it into that back room, right. which we've got oh, in. Oh, back in there? Okay. Yeah, in the summer that's our case storage. And in the fall, we empty that out and heat that room up separately to do the red ferment. As it ferments, all the solids are rising. Right. And they keep pushing up this cap. And right. if you left that cap there to dry out, you'd be making vinegar. Ah, uh, okay. So three times a day, we got to punch down the cap and submerge it and break it up okay. and get it, keep it all wet. And then when it's done fermenting, you'll walk in one morning and it's just a bin of wine.